Hey everyone, it's Thursday and today we're going to get with more Horizon for Ben West because you know, yesterday I talked about how with the Raptor machine and you know how in when I was playing Tuesday is I, when I saw the machine Raptors, I wanted to see if I was able to ride them. Well, guess what? I'm able to ride them. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on today in Horizon Forbidden West. I'm going to be working on leveling up, doing quests and missions, so I can level up. And my main, one of my main goals is to get it to where I can ride one of those raptors called the Claw Strider. <laughs> so that's what we're working on. And also, I want to th thank you all because we have just hit a hundred. 50 followers on Twitch and I know in the grand scheme of things it's not that very big but to me it big deal and I want to thank you all for supporting me and fo uh, following so give yourselves a pat on the back and uh follow let's see help L Matthew 3191 thank you for the follow I really do appreciate it I hope everyone this day and week has been going well. Things have been a bit busy for me. Got things going on. And also, next week, it's going to be my ber my birthday. So, looking for that. I still haven't signed it, but I'm think I don't know. If I'm feeling like I, you know, like I want to get some people together to d do a game together for a bit. But I don't... But I'm thinking probably Goose Goose Duck. But and that's all on the air because... I got things going on in the back that keep that are a bit going on, but I'm thinking. But I'll we're gonna work on that off stream. But right now, let's go ahead and get into Horizon Forbidden West because I want to get you know, as soon as possible. I want to get to where I can get that Claw Strider as a mount. So let's go on in and start working. Also, by the way, the one they have for the also the machine, the, the flying machine, we can also get that one as well. But unfortunately, that one we get later in the game. And of course, also, apparently the bristlebacks, we can ride those as well. And of course, we still have the sub goals. So hopefully, I hope we can get get through them all this year. I wonder if if, if we do have any audio files to find in the world because I haven't seen any so far. I'm wondering if they got rid of them for. for just doing all text ones. You hey, let's see what we got for quests, side quests. Okay, we need to go back to Baron Light. No, if I remember, I think it's chain scrape we have to go back to since we got since we can now continue with the mission because we couldn't really continue with this one because of the main quest. focus to keep track of them. Good time to pull out shock ammo. Huh? Hey! No!
can't apparently can't headshot them. Okay, so went for Estelle. Charger hadn't gotten in the way, I could have revi revived it. Oh, I can push over a tree? That's new. Check it out. Ah, uh, that old tree finally decided to fall. That's it, keep going that way. First. Time for Assassin's Creed moves. Okay, 
that's not fair. That is so not fair. New skills, what I can get. Okay, I need more ski. Oh. Okay, that's all the skills I can get right now. I need to wait until I level up to get more. But at least I knocked out the three, eight, one, two, three, four. Four out of six of them so far. Check it out. Ah, uh, that old tree finally decided to fall. Oh, I don't have this equipped.
Oh, I like this. This is a good, a good weapon. I wonder if it works on he how it works on them. Okay, better just save it for machine since it doesn't really do too well against living target. the bridge. I should take a look. Gotta get this loot. Cause I'm a loot goblin. one half of the bridge how to drop the other side scanning the bridge with my focus might show me something a dyer can make use of this I wonder what the bloom is, uh, what the flowers are for. Is it to dye the armor or I do remember seeing another thing where Aloy had like faint, his face paint on. So maybe that's what it's for. Maybe we get it to where we can do they face paint. Do. Cause I think there was an option for that in the first game, but I never really did it because it was for well, like an in game kind of thing, like our new game plus. Back. I look 
looks like it fell into a tunnel. So the rebels were keeping bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. <laughs> hey, Fire Dragon, welcome in. I hope you like the sh uh, the shot of uh, the sight scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you were trying to scare me, but it didn't work. But welcome in. I hope your day's been going well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not easily scared. Sometimes you have managed to caught me off guard, but that's because I get like hyper focused on stuff. But currently, right now, I am not hyper focused. If I was like really hyper focused on something, then you would have given me a jolt. Fire Dragon, let me see. Guess what? These claw striders, I get to ri I'll eventually get to ride one. Well, bad news, I couldn't get the 3D modeling classes. No! Why wouldn't it let you into the? Uh, why couldn't you get the 3D modeling classes? Was it because they were all filled up, or did the date like for to sign up pass? Or is it that they require like a certain degree or something? Hawa, welcome on in. I hope your day's going well. You guys came in just in time. I just got started. By the way, I would be traveling using a mount. However, uh, the place I was just at, I lost my mount because in the fight against the rebels. Which means I need to get another charger. But to be honest, I real uh, though what I really want to get, I really want to get this bad boy. I want to get this so bad. I mean, just look at it. That's this is uh, the type of mount. If I was in the world of Horizon, this is the uh, machine I would be riding.
and I couldn't get in because my schedule is already pretty complicated. Ah, oh, man. Well, don't worry. If we, in the meantime, if you're able to download Blender, you can you download Blender on your computer and you can look up tutorials on YouTube because that's how I started out. And that's how I mostly do a lot of stuff. When there's something I don't understand, I try to find a, I shift through a bunch of videos and tutorials to know what I need to do. Because the class, 3D modeling classes I took, it was, they were using Maya, which was a completely different program. I opened up Blender an hour ago. Still no progress. And don't, uh, don't worry, Hawa, uh, it takes time to really get, uh, really learn to get to where I am on blender because i did not get to where i am overnight and like the old saying you don't rome was not built in a day because i've been doing it for almost uh, three years now and it, it's taking time to get to where I am. I wouldn't do that because I don't even have a laptop. Ooh. I, I, oh, I would do that, but I don't have, even have a laptop. That's, that's disappointing. Unfortunately, I don't know um, mobile if if there's a mobile version of Blender Fire Dragon. But I do hope that you that you can get into doing 3D modeling classes. I really hope you can do that because it's a really good field. I will admit there are times where it gets really tedious and boring when you're working on something. But uh, trust me, the it's worth it because once you get to well, and once you really start getting into it and learning a lot of stuff, it becomes very rewarding of what you can do with 3D modeling. Because with Blender, is Ubisoft is actually has invested in Blender, and a lot of companies are too, trying to get it to, because with Blender, you can use it for free, and you can do a whole lot of stuff in it for free. Though it works really well when you have like Substance Painter as well. Because that's what I use for the texturing. It's just that you have to do editing. Another program that's also good would be Unreal Engine. But you need like really high power stuff to do Unreal Engine. And I actually, and, but my, uh, the computer I have can do Unreal Engine. I just haven't done a whole lot in it yet. But one thing, if you do want to do Unreal Engine is I would suggest make like an Epic Games account and go on to the Unreal Engine store because what is good is every two, first Tuesday of every month, they make some of the assets that you normally would have to pay for money for. They make them completely free for you to get for that whole month. And I've gotten all tons and tons of assets that would cost like thousands, probably thousands of dollars by now. If it wasn't for Unreal Engine, I, if I wasn't able to get them for free, it would co cost that amount, which it, I really like that Epic Games does that. It will make some of their uh, the assets they have in the store free. Whoa. Is she drunk? I see. If I get a laptop this year, I could try using Blender in my free time. Yes, but I would suggest, yes, you get like it, uh, one that it's kind of like a, the current gen laptops or a, a not like many many years old like don't go for like one with two that's that i know willow has which is like from 2008 you don't want one of those because they would not be able to handle uh, the, the blender but if you manage to get a laptop that's like late like the latest ones that are out or maybe like a year from or like maybe from last year yeah i think you can you can do blender because if you get a laptop that's for like a year old it will still work real well it's just that when it comes to it i have seen where it's a lot better if you have like a pc like i got because you, 
you can still do a lot on a, on a laptop, but it's better when you have a PC to do it on. But laptop, you can do a lot of stuff on it with Blender. For another round how are the refugees doing they keep to themselves mostly but they have food and shelter some even found work around town good thinking giving them that stormbird heart i'm glad it helped i hope they can get back on their feet i'll keep checking up on them then they'll be just fine has Tolland been giving the refugees any trouble nah He's still nursing his pride over at his shop. I've seen <laughs> Karja fuss pots made of tougher stuff than that brittle bolt. Anyway, he knows if he messes with the shadow Karja, he messes with me. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvin? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. The bristlebacks came out of Olvind's old mine. Fading Forge? Are you sure? Yeah. All his blasting caused a sinkhole in the tunnels. Bristlebacks came barreling through from the west. Well, I'll bet the Magistrate would be mighty interested to know about that. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flamehair. Oh, by the way, if you do get a laptop, Fire Dragon, I would suggest getting one with the a Navita a graphics card, because that's what I got in my PC. It's a 360 Navita. If you get a RTX, you, you don't have to get, you don't have to have like an RTX like I do, but a Navita graphics card, that would be the best thing to have if you're going to be doing bl a Blender. So, you've returned from the West. Any luck? The Bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakhth rebels on the other side of the mountains. Olvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the Daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Olvind. Radiant beams of the sun, and all this Anytime. time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvind here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale witch. You best be meaning to put pen to parchment. What? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the Daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? 
I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. And you almost drowned your other miners. And sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. Uh, I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. <laughs> the bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. <laughs> Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like no, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. Uh, you think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, don't want you! Don't need <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Get off me. You gotta love it. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, you got it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Let's, all right, we got this place saved from Ulvid, and we got new skill points. Now let's see, do I have anything else area? Okay, that's the main quest side. Okay, that's leading out that way. And it's also leading out that way. Okay, it looks like I'll be heading out into the... I'll be heading back out. But that was satisfying watching Olvid get what he deserved and he had to leave and chain scrape. And they were going to look into all his business. It reminds me of someone, I'm not going to say the name. Yeah, I know where they're looking into every dirty dealing he's ever done and he doesn't like it. <laughs> hey, Lloyd, you managed to get those parts I asked for? I'm working on it. Okay, let's get some fast travel packs. I remember with the fast travel packs, it used to be where you needed materials to get them, but now we can just buy them. I wonder if we'll come across where they put the gold fast travel pack where I only need to buy it once and that's it. Good call. Did you find those shell walkers, Aloy? I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. Okay, let's see. Okay. Any luck? 
Any news on those? I'll get them. Yeah, of course. Yep. I should get going. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, okay, it looks like there's nothing there, which means continue going. Shout out to the West. Back. And when I come across any shell walkers, I'll take care of them. All right, we're at level 10. And I remember I, the video I saw when I could get the claw strider, I, I think it showed it like around a level, around level 15, I think. So we're uh, do, making pretty good progress already. If it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working Nomad's Land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know? After that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like Nomad's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through this stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. Ah! Ah! And that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Well, let's hope not. Oh, reckon, recognize these? These we fought in the in the first game, the demons, and the cause of the world ending and ending up being what it is now. Went rogue, and we had to destroy them. I would not be surprised if they added them back in the game, like added to where some of the Eclipse were using them. I see a tall neck and it would be best if I go over to the tall neck because 
Tall next, they will reveal the area. That's what I did when. Well, I don't. I don't think I did it on stream. But one thing I did is when I was playing the game first time and I saw what the tall necks did. I actually went around the whole map just to unlock all the tall necks to reveal the map. Or whenever I spotted one, I would go to it. What is that? It's like a satellite dish. If I can climb it, I should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough. The machine could swoop. didn't go so well but I'm looking at some of the new machines and weapons they've added to the game especially the machine designs they're really nice and if I remember the last time when Horizon Zero Dawn came out it was in 2016 so just think how much time and effort they have put into adding new machines and also adding it, all the new mechanics and lore. But it was a lot fa- it, it, The only reason we got a lot of the stuff sooner than did because of motion capture. This could be tough. Like I'm, I remember actually seeing with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, they actually had the actors doing all the motions. Okay, how I forgot how to activate the Valor. Let's see. Okay. Okay, open up the Okay, this definitely handy.
Okay, now now I understand with the Valor Strike. That that is definitely a fun new mechanic they've added. What the? What's hitting me? What? What hit me? Okay, this is gonna be a tough one. Cause something out of nowhere just hit me and I don't know what it was. Frost would do a lot of damage. It's good to have extra. Ah, finally. I wonder what was the, uh, that was shooting at me because damn, I was not expecting to get shot like that. Can I activate the generator? Oh, 
Ah, crap. Maybe I have to go up to activate the generator. Okay, charging terminal. I need to get to that. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. A power cell. Disconnected from the main power line. This should get that generator below the dish going. There's the generator. I bet this power cell can get it running. I should check that console I found earlier. Welcome aboard. All systems online. <laughs> Let's see what this thing does. Ah, uh, crap. I thought that I I need to look at and see how to do the glide because I have the glider and I was trying to glide over
you know, like to see how I collide. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I got it. Go away, machine. I don't want to deal with you. Just have to wait for the tall neck to get uh, by, then glide over to him. The time it took to do all this. And there we go. On, on to the tall. I got onto the tall neck. Also probably helped with making Horizon Forbidden West is that if you notice there are some machines that are uh, that are present from the previous game in this which also made it a lot of, uh, sped up some things that they didn't have to like redo it they probably may have redone the texturing but 
with some of them they just reused what was in the previous game so no doubt this model of the charger is probably the model of the charger that was used in the previous game and thing is when it comes to video games if they're really successful they probably get started on a sequel right away that which means probably after they did horizon zero dawn they got started on the yeah, forbidden west Now the tall neck has been activated. Time to continue on. untouched. Importantly, you saved the harvest we carry. The Utaru are in your debt. Aloy. I am Dain. You're saying that's a whole harvest? The red light you see around you has withered most of our crops. What little we carry, we had to collect at the edge of the plains. So this is Utaru territory? It is. Our home plain song lies just down the road. I'm afraid you won't see many outlanders like yourself there. Uh, my people like to keep to themselves. But if you're lacking... Thank you for the hydrate, Hawa. I know some of them will be willing to trade with you. Here, it's not much, but it's the least I can do to thank you. Yes? <sighs> Please, any kindness we see, we also sow. Thank you. Dine, you should go. Tell the others we have the harvest. And that we need a healer. Right. May the land bloom in your steps. I should go too. If you do make it to Plain Song, we share our meals up on the northern dish. Diane's one of the cooks there. I'm sure he can make you some rations worth trading for. I'll try to make my way there if I can. Die unlocked early autumn. Ooh. Boy, 
his voice here. If I don't find a guy a backup, it'll be like this everywhere. Triceratops machines? I like how they added more dinosaur themed uh, machines in here because the only dinosaur machine I know that they added in, the, in Horizon Zero Dawn was the Thunder Jaw, which is obviously based on the T Rex. I didn't want to destroy my mind. I know, right. I wanted to repair it. Uh. Well, it looks like I'm blocking the rest of the way. for destroying my mount it, it caused me to destroy my mount something with this it looks like an otaru shrine wonder what it's for an ancient component I 
reckon I, I know them. Yeah, snap maws. I, I have a feeling. Level 20. These are the coordinates Vesra gave his henchmen from the Daunt. Time to see what the Eclipse are up to. Oh, it's the Eclipse. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting I I thought I was heading to the main mission, heading to Plain Song, but apparently Clips, but since I'm here, I might as well take him out. Those machines look like they've been overridden. I better be careful. <laughs> There's people here. Otaru. Are they being forced to excavate these ruins?
Eclipse Guard still around. A little nap. Talk. Okay. I take care of all of them, though. It cost me all the health items I had. Well, not all of them, but the small You're ones. There. I can help you up. It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. Clips, bastards. Good riddance! So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen. If you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. So the Eclipse abducted you? Yeah. I was out, uh, exploring a couple weeks ago when they caught me. Exploring? Well, more like wandering and looking for scraps. Plain Song isn't such a fun place to be right now. Not much food, not much to do. Of course, it's a thousand times better than this cesspool. Next time, I'll stay closer to home. The others ran off. Will they be okay? They'll run straight for plain song. No guarantees, but they'll probably make it. I'd be more worried about the ones still inside. They'll either be working or penned up. I'll keep an eye out for them. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. The leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. <sighs> that sounds bad. You should probably head back and miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. 
Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. Okay. That's where we're going in. We got some meat. Some battle, the old ones oh right, we found an audio recording. All four positions overrun. Can't race USRC. Bottom line, we're dog meat. Any goddamn suggestions? Still got an FAE. When the bots pour in, we detonate. Blow up a whole lot of tin cans. Take them with us. Spiteful. I like it. Make it happen. See you in the sky, soldier. If this is the bomb Vezra found, I really need to stop him. Ooh, treasure. That's my way in. I'll have for these soon enough. Quite an operation the Eclipse have here. Time to put an end to it. Please contain a reinforced barrel. Highly flammable. No longer are we burdened by the Kasha masses. We are free. Free to conquer. Get out there and go. Shock could do a lot of damage. Long legs. Damn, can't get a clear shot from where I am. And we won't stop with Meridian. The known world will tremble as our shadow stretches across the land. From the way that sounds, it doesn't sound like the guy that we're after is here. That's not fair. I pressed the heal button. Should have healed. Good 
take advantage of that. Right, level 12 reached. <sighs> Why didn't they keep missing? No, I aimed right there. shadow the blood and sweat of our slaves seed this ancient battleground and soon we will reap our destiny i feel like that uh, that the tripwires were able to go a lot further in the other game Thank you. 
a ton of metal on top of me. And maybe three ribs left. FAE hasn't blown. Which means that the engineers are dead. Gotta cut myself out of here. Am I the only one who saw that? And it's gonna hurt. But you know what they say. If you want something, ten by. Suppress her! No, I just want to be on the smoke bomb. for the guards now for their leader those speakers have to be connected to a power source somewhere probably inside that big structure but that's where i'll find him uh, finally i got him i killed him I guess in order to activate them, I'll need fire arrows, which I am not gotten yet, which I w wish I did have fire arrows. Tunnel, 
Who is she? I gotta let them out. Help us! Quick. Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. Bless it. Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. What will you do? Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death. Sure. For the bad guys. All of you, find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, to take care of Vesra. As we won't start with Meridian, for no world will tremble as our shadow stretches across the land. Okay, I can't craft any more, but I think they'll have to make do with what I got. The arts of the old ones are mine alone to command. And by mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. The savior of Marie. How kind of you. Delivered Shut you. up, Vezra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. One more sneaking around. Ravager. Make things easy. I gotta take it out. Fast. <laughs> I can't make any more. of the old ones are mine alone to command and by mastering them i will secure our future maybe you should secure your hideout first the savior of marie how kind of you shut up vesra it's over hardly you may have driven us from the sundom but now is the time for revenge that Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out fast. Vezra, you're going down next. Well, okay, that was easy.
subsiding. This game, are we? Just come out, will you? He just had to turn around. He couldn't just, uh, he couldn't just stay hidden and uh, just let me stay hidden. Are you kidding me? Are you literally kidding me? I had him. That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out fast. It's so not fair. I what is it with this thing? You shouldn't be letting me kill it. Huh. 
That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out, fast. Even let me. I press the heal button and it doesn't heal. That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. Gotta take it out fast. I hate Vezra. I hate fighting this guy. That Ravager isn't going to make things easy. I gotta take it out fast. If there are any more bosses like him, I hope they're not as annoying as he is. That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out fast.
All right, finally I got him. What I wouldn't give to watch you die. You'd have to try a lot harder for that. Not with this. We'll both be gone in an instant. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I hoped you just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. The others, I, I told them to hide. Are, are they? Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plain Song. Thanks, Yef. Listen, sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades. Said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? I don't know. But I intend to find out. It looks like Vezra spent some time in here. Loyal Eclipse. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, if you're seeing this, means you've left the sun. Means you've left something to follow. Search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Your journey is almost over. Beyond the gates of barren light. Gates of barren light. And bask in the glow of future conquest. Glow of future conquest. A new empire awaits. A new empire awaits. I think that's the last of them. I wonder where that door leads. Time's up. Warbots are right outside. Inputting detonation sequence. Alpha, Charlie, Echo. Shit! Safety switches won't disengage. No time to do it manually. It's over. I failed. God, if you're listening, look out for my little girl. Guys, I will be right back. I need to go refill my drink, okay? So, BRB.
Okay, hey everyone, I am back, so let us continue. Could use my focus here. I left word in the dawn. If the others are still alive. They'll find it and try to join me here. Not if I take them out first, which I did. Say this for Vesra. I dreamed big. Guess that's all okay. I need to know. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. What did you find? Vesra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you, but if you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plainsong. I hope you make it there. Okay, and with that, we can now continue on. Oh yeah, I can't call a mount because my mount got destroyed.
What do we got here? Kangaroo. more of them no doubt the reason that they're out of the ground is because of what happened during the previous game it looks like the coordinate signs gave me match that wreckage did he install a hades on another titan i'll get my kit dry at least of the coordinates I scanned from this fire. The workshop underneath a dead forest titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what was okay, I can't use that right now. That device is blinking. I guess silence wants me to check it out. Okay, now I can. from the titan overhead a perfect cage for our mutual friend hades in order to render it cooperative tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life <laughs> Thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. This is only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking Poor at. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. You can't even speak. Now, the processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand, well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable until interrogations begin, anyway. Some kind of log, most of it's redacted. It looks like Silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Guess that's where we're going. In we go. I better see where this trail leads.
Here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. Oh, great, Clint, uh, Clintox. It's weak against Shark. Crappers. Good old scrappers. Taking out a whole bunch of these, even. Ah, uh, chargers. Right? Which means I can get a new mount. Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him?
what we got here. Metal flower, metal splinter, organic, uh, organic vines, invulnerable to impact, special gear required to clear. Okay, so I guess I can't do these just yet. Merchant, didn't expect to see anyone else out here. It might be handy to resupply. Oh there! What's an aura doing this far west? Ah, uh, no matter, no matter. I can get you stocked up for the while. Frost Hunter bow, nice. I think I'll take that. Can't get that. into the hillside. Ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. Wait. What? Is this an elephant machine? That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. From that door. Looks like a Pharaoh facility. Zero Dawn? Is that you? System threat detected. You don't look so good. You are the AI. Come to destroy me. Yes. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured.
uh, welcome back fire dragon and a lot of stuff's happened is I did a mission where I was singing on remnants of the eclipse and now I'm uh, where silence apparently put Hades into an orb and left him there so now I'm talking to silent uh, talking to Hades silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia <laughs> That would have been easy. What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? You don't remember any of it? What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function. Who knows where doing who knows what? Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there cooking up trouble? It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Do you know where Silence went? No. He departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he... Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence, then you find me here. Obviously. But why? What was this place? Location is where. Data error, memory structures disintegrating. My deathbed, he called it my grave. But you... I guess I'll find out when I go inside. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deleted. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. Then there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You 
Ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override, arms. Elizabeth, stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. Looks like Hades is now dead. Stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason and I... And using the same spyware, I see, so... All those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you... I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing. But yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Eloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. I think he probably did teach him how to override it. Probably after seeing Aloy doing it, he probably taught the rebels how to do it. Just to... Confirm. Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system, restore control over the terraforming system, save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Someone tells me that Hades, it, being an AI, you know, wants to kill everyone. I don't think he lied about that. And if that means there's probably other backups of the support, subordinate functions as well, not just Gaia. Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Hear 
care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a super intelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah. The same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... The details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Gaia is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? He does have a point. Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Okay, time to go inside the facility. enough to jolt it open a bit more exactly it will only work with an igniter i'm sending you the schematics now to build it you'll need some machine parts for the oil from a kindle lead plant that only grows underwater but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake the parts are more complicated you'll need a spark coil from within a leap lashes power cell remove the power cell before you kill the machine or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. Just need to get the parts. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan one of them. My focus can show me where the part is. There's the power cell. I can tag it in my focus display. The legs were built for leaping and kicking, no doubt.
Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of trouble. Things keep hopping up, uh, hopping up a jump uh, all over the place. Is it hard to aim at the power cell? This machine should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan one of them. My focus can show me where the part is. Don't think sh There's the power cell. I can tag it in my focus display. Goes the part. Gotta pick it up. Going to be lurking the it, but I hope you have an amazing stream and are enjoying your week. Hey Benji, th and thank you for the lurking. I hope you enjoy it. And they lurking, I'll give you a shout out just a sec. Kind of busy with uh dealing with machines at the moment. From your time tinkering with Hades. Tinkering? More like extracting a valuable data. spot let me give you a shout out Let's see what you're playing last ah last scene just doing just chatting i hope that went well and also i know you you'll be stre streaming today benji and i hope your stream goes well Oh yeah, the workbench. Neat. Here. Igniter. Ah, I can find I can upgrade it to the full capacity.
Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Bet I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. Okay, nothing over there. So, so for maybe that. Gene locked door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Well, this is familiar. Making my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and constantly <laughs> finding a backup. Hey, Pam Pam, welcome on in. I hope your day's going well. Give me just a time. Currently, right now, what I'm doing is I am looking for a backup of Gaia in Horizons uh, Forbidden West. Here, so where are I going next? Maybe it's in here because this looks like it to be a dead end. So maybe I'm supposed to go and uh, try the other side. Okay, why is the button not working? Okay, there we go. Huh. <laughs> 
might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Ladder? What ladder? Ah. Door's locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. Cell. Putting these energy cells in reminds me of Warframe. Back up. Try again. What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. This console shut down. Hey, which means I need to find another energy cell. Okay, I can remove this energy cell and reuse it. Oh, I see something purple. My man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. I'm gonna move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Baby Hades is a vile little thing, and it's got to stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line it licks. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes you were working on here didn't fly the coop. You know, like Drax.net-4. 
I think your boy is nicknamed that one the Maldova Brain Hack. That was a clearance level nine project. Aw, oh, thought you goose scrubbed this place quick and clean. But your pal Trav went over it with a white glove and found the grime. No, here we'll be just fine for Hades. Later, teddy bear. If this place was isolated from the outside, then any Gaia backup stored here wouldn't have been purged. Safe from Tit Ferro's machinations to obliterate Gaia's Apollo database. Okay, let's see what we got in here. <clears throat> we have here. More loot. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. Just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars a little you, a little me to deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. Okay, well you just saw the creation of, the, of what we saw at the beginning when Aloy tried to get the uh, trying to get, thought she had gotten a back of a guy, but it turned out it was just a fake. My pole caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. from here I like how you can glide now in the game we couldn't do that last time
Crap, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. I didn't notice the ladder was there. Which means I have to go all the way around. Okay, how am I supposed to get up there when I can't even reach it? Oh wait, now remember I was supposed the door was shut from the beginning. I had to go up through the vent. more of the facility over there. I better take a look. Oh, I, mean, I guess I should have seen clear. What's in here? Out there, outside the noise dampening field, 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways, but I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey, but. But I told him, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. Look, I got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now. But see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> Damn, that Travis sounds like a complete asshole. Just out of here. I'm Travis Tate. This place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. It looks like this is connected to the door. I need the code to open. Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? 
Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told them, I said, make it two spots, cause I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. Okay, got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now, but see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Maybe I should check my data points. No, that's not it. isn't going to get you anywhere. Could try my focus, see what it picks up. Hey, maybe that's a code. There we go. Tilda, Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan. What if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before- Goodbye, Tilda. Time to go. Elizabeth sounded sad at the end. I think this was personal. Indeed. Wait, they said a back up of Apollo, which means they may not have all of Gaia, but they did get a copy of Apollo, which means if that's the case, they may end up get get to learn all of humanity's history. Getting close. Since there is, since 
It just said there was, they got a copy of Apollo. Okay. Made it to the door. So we made it to the back of a Gaia. It looks like the power's off. Except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable. There's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the guy repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arms coupling. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. Not completely. For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time, even if you did. The mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. Uh, it was worth 
Das wäre West of Plains on. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the sub functions, but the slave. The slave for having the backup but isn't useless after all. Recover maneuver. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other sub functions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Intruders, alert. Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. The clone of Elizabeth Sobek. Genetic key with which they can reboot Guy and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. I wonder who they are. Save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours. I'm trying to help you here. Not her destroying her focus. No focus, spyware free. Okay. Yeah. I think. I think. I think. I don't care how powerful they are. The only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry Wait, what? Authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. How is that possible? But then again, she is a, a clone, so. Hmm. Looks promising. Beta. Have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone something wrong? Shit. Spectres, beta. What machines are those? Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric. Yeah. Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got her became one. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor life fades from the eyes. Ooh, 
No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? Well, great personal shields. to make it drop more. Oh! He's too close. I won't make it. Kills all mine. Gonna help, girl. <laughs> oh, it will. Come on, come at me. Oh, gotta cut the main stem. Pain, then death. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't like this guy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Seriously, I gotta do the the arms again.
makes you feel alive. Take care of that. Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. Come on, come at me. Uh, gotta cut the main stem. Uh, oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me aim. This stem's gonna fall. It looks like there's two more problems on the stem. Fight me! Not that dumb machine! Christ, let me aim. was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed. Body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. Damn. What? Crap. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Couldn't see uh, where I was going. Shit. 
shit! How do I get up? Uh, how do I get out of here? This is pretty in intense with all these robots And they're more highly advanced than the robots that we've had to deal with
Barl's back. I, I found it. Shh. It's okay. I'm here. I, I've got it. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. <laughs> Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Plains. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need cauldrons? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. We'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So. She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. Not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. Still need to talk. Of course. But this way. The mountains. West of Plain Song. No trouble out there. The Utaru have trouble. Everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. 
Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of plain song. Food for all. <laughs> a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered, year by year. And once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid, a blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray hurt me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. Without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stop the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. That's telling me that with those machines, they're used for farming, uh, automatic farming, and 
when they go in they go in to like get maintenance and repairs and everything and that's why they come out looking all bright shiny and new is because they're because they're getting maintenance done on them but because of what happened in the previous game they that cycle ended because their programming no doubt got damaged thanks for taking us in varl's the one that carried you across the wild i doubt anyone else here would have let us in or stayed by my side to make sure aloy was comfortable we were lucky to find you i could say the same thing sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together i wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen i hope you feel better and soon I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. When it's time to make an exception, it belongs to the land gods, Luxor. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What? could possibly do all that a spirit yeah something like that i could journey back to plain song assemble the chorus tell how you soothed ray ask their permission to go inside great i'll get my things <laughs> <laughs> she needs rest you don't have to tell me okay, i'm fine Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could. Come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her calm. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> okay. Is that what you were trying to say? Um. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Yeah, me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... No. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain saloon when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? They're not to mention why they have such very advanced weaponry. some sort of problem the problem is foreigners you're the second one i've seen today sooner you all go the better this soil will be less chance of bad seeds taking root i would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here but ray is going to die anyway just like all of us 
Meanwhile, Outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with an Utaru thrush? What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today, running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaru girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. Careful, Outlander. These fields are wrought with blight. Nora Legacy Spear. to meet Varl and Zoe in Plainsong. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proven Lab were. But first, I might want to head southwest to find an old friend, see what she's doing out here, and maybe explore a little. Okay, and now that we've gone through that epic part, let us head out to to the side quest. We, can, we are close to level 13, and I'm pretty sure once I get to level 15, I could then try to go for that cauldron where you try to get a claw strider. Give me. Try to get a claw strider. Is that who I think it is? You see that, Milo? You have to wait for an opening.
Likewise. Come over here. Sunhawk Talana came Kadish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone, a Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me. Then help put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, you lose your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. Don't worry. You're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. The Hunter Killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize the lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battlefield's this way. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but Ow. they underestimated okay, the Okay, here to the It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but... Willow! You can't hide from me. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it never came.
Don't. Uh, this is the field. Don't you give me that. I know it's you because it didn't give me an alert when it, it went into the E. The only one that could have done that was you. Most signs of battle. There are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Sure. Blame stream elements. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osram. It's too many to tell if Amatis is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amatis was supposed to be alone. Why were Osram here? Cooking fire. Looks recent. Whoever was here camped out for at least a night. I'm playing a game, so I might not completely hear you sometimes. I understand. Kind of hard to hear when you're uh, when you're listening to someone playing a game and playing a game yourself. Osram, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. The tracks that lead away from the battlefield. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going <laughs> west? Maybe there's something else around here. Looks pretty abandoned to me. Oh, west? Uh, oh, oh, east? I thought you said west. <laughs> An Utaru? What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's oh, ask. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone. Clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here. Poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army. Charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned. But others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison. Or a Karja graveyard depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amatis. Lead on. You mentioned Amatis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. The ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. Whoa! Hawk and thrush, just like old times. Gel snapper, that is a big tortoise machine. Wants me to take on that thing? I've got your back. Come on, Amor. We're in the fight. Ammo for you.
Are you kidding me? A shell snapper. But it hasn't seen us yet. We can use that. Hawk and thrush, just like old times. He wants me to kill this thing. Shell snapper. That hasn't seen us yet. We can use that. Hawk and thrush, just like old times. I can't craft any more. Great. These are just as bad as the rock breakers.
the correction. I hate these more than rock breakers. What the? How did they hit me? I'm behind a wall.
Oh, that is just not fair. I'm trying to get stuff to heal and it hits me. I hate this turtle. I hate, I hate these turtle machines. I thought I, they were just as bad as rock breakers. They're even worse than rock breakers. Okay, well, I'll, you know, I'll be here fighting irritating and turtle. Seriously?
I'm almost had it down and it kills me. About time. Okay. I finally killed it. Get to hunt by your side again. Come on. Let's head into the tunnel. Finally I killed this thing. This thing was a pain in the ass. This is the way. This is the way. No, I think things would be easier if I had a claw strider, but I have yet to get to where I can unlock it. If I had the claw strider, things would have been a lot smoother because it could have helped in combat. I am quick saving because if anything happens, I do not want to have to fight that oh, turtle so again. That was left by an Osram. It's a dead end. Damn. Sounds like someone I know. It says he's moving on. Huh. I wonder where to. An Osram. What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. The note ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh, but there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. W hold on. 
How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Tawana seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do, but... I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. This store needs some kind of code to open. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do now. Bunch of Osram supplies. A dead end. Must be something pretty important in here if there is a code for the door. here Got it. be right south <laughs> well technically I'm in the west so I guess I would go even further westward Also, well, uh, the one, uh, the, uh, the machines, uh, in fact, uh, you can ride is this beast. I definitely want to uh, override one of these and take control of it. The claw strider. So far, my favorite machine design in the game. West of Loathing. I've never heard of that game. <laughs> I'll, I'll look that game up later. I'll send you to the trailer then. Okay, well, I'll definitely take a look at it after stream. Well, what do we got here? Acid won't do much here. Wide maw. Oh, it's just a no doubt another version of the snap jaw. Yep, it's definitely. Oh wait, it's it's a hippopotamus. I've dealt with enough. I dealt with a giant yanny turtle. I'm not in the mood to take on a hippo as well. But at least I didn't have to deal with that and the snap jaw at the same time. Because, ugh.
machine in there. There's Laurel and Zoe. An outlander and film song. You'll want to talk to me. A word of warning? Avoid the ruins northwest of Plain Song. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. Something lighting up the ruins. Could be old world tech. Might be worth taking a look. We will continue just as soon as I, I need to do something. I need to put some plates up and I also need to get myself a drink. And refill my drink. So I will BRB everyone. Thank you. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. You know, there's an issue facing many Americans today that I know concerns a great number of us. According to Gallup polls, one in 12 Americans is unaware that the bird is the word. I, for one, dream of an America where everybody knows that the bird is the word. My God, is it possible? Have the boys in the lab confirm this. Sir, our math shows that the bird is equal to or greater than the word. Check it again! Thank you. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. You know, there's an issue facing many Americans today that I know concerns a great number of us. According to Gallup polls, one in 12 Americans is unaware that the bird is the word. I, for one, dream of an America where everybody knows that the bird is the word. My God, is it possible? Have the boys in the lab confirm this. Sir, our math shows that the bird is equal to or greater than the word. Check it again!
Okay, I am back. Now let us continue. Before we continue with main mission, we got some side quests we need to get. So we can work on those while we're out. Thanks, Will. Hey, where's the person I'm supposed to talk to? Nope, not them. Yes? I don't see anybody here. But I, uh, but I can tell what these farmers are doing. They're using hydroponics for their crops. I'm sure you heard you've heard my attempts at killing the silence in your absence. Oh yeah, I heard I heard it, Willow. <laughs> the thing is, even when I'm away from the uh, when I am away from the computer, I can hear everything that's going on because I got Bluetooth headphones on. And I will tell you that Bluetooth headphones, while they can be a bit of a pain, especially when it comes to connection issues, because sometimes they'll disconnect from Peter if you go too far, but it helps. It's a lot better because you're, you're not restricted by a cord and having to be put into a slot on the computer. It makes it a lot easier to move around. Plus, from I kept having with headphones when I was using cords, it was always in the same spot where yeah, they would break where he couldn't uh, use them anymore because, oh, one of the speakers was on and that means, oh, time to get another pair. <coughs> where is the person I'm supposed to talk to? Because I don't see them anywhere. I'm right at the spot, but they're not here. Maybe I need to do the main quest. Before I could talk to him. I'm here, as promised. And singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day, more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray. There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to <laughs> cut through them from time to time. Throwing Faro right under the bus, having him deal, uh, deal with all the politics. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. 
Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. Lost Riders. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. Oh, yeah. When we went in, in the DLC. We had to deal with machines protected by a purple glow. And hunter killers. But more vicious. Sounds familiar. You fought. If they are, what if there may be a whole of the reason? So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to repair. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. First, need to go to the Stitcher, see if they have any new armor. Okay, now I think I see why I couldn't find four because maybe they're not down here, but maybe they're up there. So what exactly is this game? Uh, this game, Horizon for Bread and West, it is the sequel to another game I played. Like there's a butcher of a killer, a bunch of killer robots everywhere. Okay, this game is the sequel to another game, and it's actually a game I, one of the first games I streamed, which is Horizon Zero Dawn. This is Horizon for Bread and West, which is a sequel that takes place after the six months after the first game and in this we go to west and the what it is is we're on earth that's in the distant future it and what happened is like around our in time or so maybe a bit further in the future is robots they that worked on organic matter they went rogue and they started destroying all life on the planet and one that Aloy is a clone of Dr. Sobek, she realized that the planet cannot be saved, but there was a way to renew it after everything was destroyed and the robots shut down. So what it was is the machines you see, they were created originally to re-terraform -ter the planet. And a lot of stuff like animals and human 
in the DNA of humans was stored away and clones were created to repopulate the planet. And that's why it, it the, we're on Earth in North America. So we're kind of like, if I remember, I saw a commercial where it was like on PS Plus. We're kind of like in the area around like where California, Nevada, that kind of area. Because in the original game, in the first one, you go to an area which I think is Yellowstone. So I think what we're do going to be doing, we're going to be going as far as like San Francisco or what's left of it. And why am I lagging a bit? Okay, back in the green. But yeah, that's the gist of it. And what Aloy is doing is she's trying to find Gaia, which we did find a backup of Gaia. And... Now she, what she's trying to do is find the sub uh, sub systems of Gaia to put it all back together to stop the terraforming from going out of control because it's now killing the planet and life on Earth. It's a really fun game, and I like how they have it to where it continues from where the first game left off. Not by like a few days, but a few months. That is pretty good. And one of the characters is only talking to Varl. You meet him in the first game. It's a I really love how they did it and the first game came out in 2016 and I love how what they have done with this game they I think they made some um, visual improvements um, from the first and they've added some new machines like from one of the things I could ride the machines well not all of them just some of them I think there's four in here that I can ride and but currently right now I can only ride let me see I can only ride where this one. I can only ride the charger right now. In the first game, there was a horse robot I could ride called the Strider, but I can only ride the charger right now. But there's a cauldron which is where the machines come out of. You have to go to them in order to gain the option to override other machines. But this, I did a little research on the ones I can ride. Because I wanted to know if I could really ride this one. Because when I saw it in the cutscene, I wanted to ride this. It showed characters riding it, and I'm wondering if I could ride it. And it turns out I can't. And, but I have to get to the cauldron first and beat the boss in there. And then once I do, I can start riding the uh, these claw striders. But all the machines they're he here for terror for uh, that are on the pl in the game are meant to terraform the planet however because humans don't have like access to the of this time don't have access to the the knowledge that we had they actually did have a place for that have all human history stored away and to teach the human clones about history unfortunately a guy named ted farrow he went and deleted all human history from the Apollo system, which was supposed to educate humans, but it never happened because he deleted all of it. Which is why they, if the people of this time live in a, in a tribal situation. I promise my rations will help keep your strength up in the wilds. I hope you know there'll always be a warm meal waiting for you here, Aloy. Thank you, Dave. I'm traveling on an empty stomach. I don't have the resources for this yet, so... Aloy, 
Wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plainsong? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There's people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yev. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. Uh, okay, now he is assigned missions. Please! The chorus won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who'll even listen to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakh. They live to fight. As usual, among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the western clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Barrier Deers. Which I believe outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. You said your own people won't help. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru. And normally I wouldn't question them. But they see outlying settlements like Riverhem as lost lands. No longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. Ah, uh, here's Sitcher. Dress for Dress to impress. Hocus Cantos. <laughs> yep. Bringing an outlander before the chorus. A 
Okay, you have unlocked weapon techniques. Weapon techniques are unique, powerful attacks that offer exceptional strategies to combat. Unlocked techniques are available for all weapons in their class. Tap R1 while aiming to use your selected technique using the weapon technique depletes your weapon stamina. Excuse me. But weapon stamina, which regenerates over time, switch we between weapon techniques. Pretty current weapon by opening weapon wheel R1. They have to break sometimes. So long as there's disharmony. The singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? Not yet, because I think I remember I need to get it. And get another we'll side quest first. Might be best to probably maybe do the side quest before the main quest, because that will allow us to level up. Ah, workbench. Let's see if I can upgrade this outfit. Okay, that's as far as I can upgrade it right now. I'll because I'll need a claw strider razor tail and a long leg wing burner to upgrade it. Okay, that's all I can do right now. If you ask me, there should be more training and less singing. So says the Tanakh. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? He's supplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Okay, that just gives me the hunting grounds. I usually don't. I usually didn't do the hunting grounds when playing Zero Dawn because they were like time trials, and I'm not very good when it comes to time trials. So let me see what we got. Side quests: the root line and need to know. Okay, on hold until Talia finds a way across the mountains. Okay, the roots that bind then. We do uh, that is what the we'll do this side quest and then head on to the main quest since it's the only side quest that we can do. But I'm real close to level fi uh, 15, which is what video I saw for the to do the cauldron with the claw strider. Oh. 
boss strider. Here there's like an alpha version of it, but unfortunately we I can not hack that. And I can't even hack a regular one because currently right now I do not have the ability to do it. Shame I can't hack the, uh, the alpha version because the alpha version's huge. to heal my mountain won't let me We 
can't let them defile our home. We can't let them defile our home. And down they go. <sighs> <laughs> Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Warrior scene. Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I send my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide mobs leave metal pods we use for crafting at the summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. I understand what this place means to your people, but you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave, head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them winter songs. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every Karja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. In the between, the balance. <laughs> uh, just uh, uh, a reference to Star Wars. That only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people. But machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind it. What exactly do you do around here? I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Tell me more about these metal pots. They are tricky to collect. The wide moss sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Oh, 
there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those pods and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. I love how they do the environment for the game. It looks so much better from the, best we can do to hide the Zero Dawn. It looks a whole lot better. The Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. Good luck in the field today. The air is right to dry you. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. Okay, so I got a big cave. I Okay, here we go. I'm guessing that's Rouse. These wounds were made by machines. I should take a sip pouch to keep. Brewers.
Okay. I hope you had fun. I hope you have fun and don't die too much. Okay, well, uh, you have a good night and I'll see you in tomorrow. Aha. If I time it right, I might be able to jump and use my pole caster to get to the other side. Hey. Ammo the deals, purge water damage is now available in your inventory. Use focus to scan enemies to see if they are weak to purge water. Hitting them with purge water will build up a trench stain once in the stain their elemental attacks are disabled and their resistance to all elemental damage in stats is reduced. Shoot purge water canisters 
with purge water arrows to detonate and trigger an ex large explosion. Ah. Just need one more canister and there we go. Do it. Better get back to key with these. Okay, don't have to deal with them anymore.
use of this? I think I got the cave entrance. I can make my way back to Riverhem from here. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Boss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Great, more of them to fight. See, chill.
There we go. All right, level 14. And down they go. Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. Well, we got a new weapon. Let's see what we got. Okay, a sharp shot bow. Hi. Aloy, I can't believe it. I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading them. Stubborn as weeds, that one. I'm just glad we're all back in Riverhead. For good, this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. Sharp shot bows are powerful, but highly accurate long. Okay. Now that's done, we can continue on with the main mission. After I restock, of course. are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. So 
Sounds like the Otaru could use some backup against enough rebels. Okay, I think I'm ready now. Nervous. Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. Are you ready to speak before the chorus? All right, let's go talk to them. Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions. Rules are meant to be broken. Every impudent outsider well, not all, but some are. No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors. Our children. And this lone outlander can save them. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. With the score, oh, with the chorus, I say, I say, screw the chorus. We're heading into that cauldron. Then off we go. If 
fighting in the fields ahead. These machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. Machines. These machines are stronger, deadlier, immortal. There's more than just one more thing I see in that cave. the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the court. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Damn, these clusters are tough. I can't wait to when I can eh, ride one of these. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Keep going. 
into the cave. We shouldn't linger here. May the land gods forgive our trespasses. What is Machines, I don't think they'll be a problem. Made of light. We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow your lead, Aloy. That ahead, like a cauldron door. <laughs> to understand what's going on in there, you're going to need one of these. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Now listen. <laughs> the machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. Wants us dead. Follow my lead and be ready for anything. Find the core of this place. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before.
I am. Uh, these things are annoying. This is a cauldron, where machines are born. It looks like one. If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. And the spirit you're after is in here? Minerva? Maybe. Hey, now that there are those to be taken care of, maybe now we can get through without any problems. shoot the gears. I can lock them into place. Make it path up. So close. How are you doing, Sam? This place was meant for the land gods. No Utaro has ever set foot in there. help you in Aeon. To find far. You did the right thing, Zelda. That did something. There. There. Locked in place. And there she goes. Another floor panel. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down? You find a way across, Aloy. I'm working on it.
tank should be heavy enough. Can't fit the crate through that opening. I think I can get the crate through that shield. But I'll have to go around. on the pillar should be exposed now. We're trying not to. Damn, missed. But I now know where it is, so I hit it now. Or maybe not. More climbing to do. Thank you. 
you two. It's a big place. We'll keep looking. And I die. In lava. Okay, now we're making progress. It's like preparing for war. over facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile they used to be part of something good something called Gaia I remember dealing with Hephaestus in the DLC more of those cages covering that door Probably still pissed from last time. Oh no. What has Hephaestus done to her? Turned it into a weapon. Which sooner or later will be unleashed. And then, plain song. And my people see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks me, you know what we have to do. Thorne, are you ready?
That dome of light. It's protecting the machine. Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Okay, sweet so acid and perch water. I don't have perch water, so I'll have to rely on acid. I want to set some traps first. Okay, I can only set that I can only set so many traps. I remember in the last game I was able I was allowed to set as many as I wanted. Guess they decided to limit it. Triceratops. What the? Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. We have to get down there. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down.
Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? I take down the Triceratops and now I have to do it again. Ugh. That dome of light. It's protecting the machine. Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Tripcaster, I it said acid arrows. Down they go. Turned them all in scrap metal. Morning, a machine that nearly killed us. It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? 
Can you really heal our lands? Save my people. One step at a time. But it starts now. Up we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. Any you can learn this? Let's find out. Okay, let's see what machines we get. Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. And the data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on now. All right, we can override the Triceratops and the Bristlebacks. Face paint unlocked. Welcome to the regional. Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. I like the face paint. I don't know what the face paints are for just yet, but I'm sure I'll figure out what they what they do. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah. Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. the facility systems. Alert. Th this place is a really good condition. You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. This leads. 
Into the vents we go. Nice, found some more green shine fragments. Don't know what they do yet, but I'm sure eventually we're gonna find out what they do. And I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. to cooperate i can merge it with gaia finally bring her back and we can start fixing the blight the storms and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were why did they have a clone of elizabeth why did they want to back up whatever they wanted for it can't be good shaft okay now I've got to find a way to plug into this place Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. can live again but only if you give her the chance I can't reboot her without you I, cease. I think you'll disappear into her become part of her like you used to be
Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like, well, you. fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borrow? So? This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I saw a bit of an error in there with between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Oh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. 
reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. Okay, we got sinks. This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. Higaya? I'm fine. Why doesn't this door have power? Hook around a bit. At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Through that door is a trail that leads towards Plainsong. So I can head back east if I need to, once we're done here. Time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aletheia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach, procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So well, the problem is it's stuck in the network. Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. 
Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. At least until we can upgrade it. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. Then where did it come from? The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. The three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Hmm. 
You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? That could be the it. strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that, if they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus, and then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere, to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. I think we will be able to get Apollo because I remember that it talked about how how they had a copy of Apollo, so we might get get a copy of Apollo from them. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. Eighty-one trillion kilometers, or eight point six one one light years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years, at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Not mine, I can understand it. <laughs> the descendants I ran into at the Hades Proven Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Could be that she has to do it against her will. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. 
Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah. I hope so, or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. Oh, that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration halved gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. So which means we got a lot of subordinates we need to find. Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldron. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. What is the state of the biosphere? 
Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of proto energy field. Yeah, no kidding. Throughout history, every defensive technology, for example, assuming I know she. So they're. Always. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Damn. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus. But they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle going, of the desert. Going to Vegas! Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I'll have to go for Aether since it's the lowest level one. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a 
great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Sometimes things never go as planned. Repair the system, defeat Varzenith, live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Val? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. All right. Looks like we got ourselves a mission. In. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Yes, I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. Probably gonna be hard for Aaron to learn about what Gaia knows. <laughs> it's probably gonna hurt his head. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. 
good hunting, Aloy. It's a North Clan, Lilas. Somewhere All right, we're at level si si 16. And who knows what else? I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. Okay, I think this would be a good place to stop for the day. We've been going for about, oh, damn, seven, uh, close to seven and a half hours. I didn't know it was it had been that long, but then again, I was mostly focused on the game and hanging out with you guys. But then again, you know, the old saying, time flies when you're having fun. So I think today would be a good place for us to stop. So I'm going to turn it on over the chat, and we're going to look for somebody for us to raid. And do stick around, because you will be getting extra channel points from the raid. Okay, let me see who is on. Okay, let me see. Maybe if I uh, maybe we can. Uh, sorry about that. Maybe now I, I can raid Danny because I had tried to raid him uh, the other day, but unfortunately, due to his settings, it wouldn't let me raid him. But maybe today it will let me raid him. But while I get things set up, let me give you guys your raid messages. This is for subs. This is. for non-subs i'll give you guys a chance to copy that and if you'd like to join the discord here is the link to the discord i do post when i go live and any changes in schedule so if you would like to join there is the link there and also i do have sub goals so if you guys would like to see the full list of the sub goals we're still on the first one which is chat chooses my tweet once we reach that the next goal will be but if you would like to check out the li full list there is the link there now let me just get this raid set up see if it will work still uh still can't raid him he that's a shame. So let me see who else we can raid. I think maybe today we will raid the Mythic Duo. Uh, Mythic Duo, they are two, uh, two VTubers. Uh, one's Flair and one's Ombre. They used to be the Eevee Duo, but they recently changed their name not too long ago, and they're now the Mythic Duo. And currently, the one that's playing is Ombre. She's playing, so we will raid uh, them because I think it's been a while since we last raided them. So I think we'll raid them. They are currently playing Overwatch Two. And why is there a five there in that command? Can you let me see if this will go through? Yep, it went through. So we will be raiding the Mythic Duo. Do you go and say hi to, uh, to Flare and Umbre? Uh, it's Umbre for me. And I, because I, but I will be hanging out in the chat, lurking and get, 
and stuff, but I will do say hi to Umbri for me. Eh, please. Okay, so the raid's gonna get started. I am gonna be back tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna play, but I'm thinking about playing more Horizon Forbidden West because, uh, because to tell you the truth, I usually don't go, go this long, but when it comes to video games, when I find a game I really enjoy, I tend to go at, for a very long time It because I have the urge to just keep going like, no, I don't want to stop yet. No, I can't help it. I must keep going, but and I will be back tomorrow with, and most likely with Horizon Zero Dawn because I have been enjoying Zero Dawn, uh, not Zero Dawn, Forbidden West. I've been enjoying Forbidden West. Sorry, <laughs> I get Zero Dawn and Forbidden West confused because they're both a part of the same series. But most likely, probably more Forbidden West tomorrow. And hopefully, maybe I'll get the Claw Strider. But with that, I, the rate's going to send you on over. So with that, I'm going to say good night, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever is your time zones. Everybody, thank you for coming to the stream, and I will see everybody later.